What is up guys? Hey, I hope everybody had a good Christmas and a happy new year. So we're talking about today, what's the best thing you can have in the late season? That's all right, a food plot. And if you've got a food plot guys, it's a really good time here we are, first of the year. Happy 2024 to everybody. Still haven't killed that buck. Still looking for one. It was a great opportunity in the next month to make that happen. So what will happen is the bucks will start batching back up and start using food sources in the evenings. Um, had a lot of success here over the years and in other places. But in fact, one of the best bucks I've ever taken was January 22nd. So don't give up hope. There's still a chance that a buck can come in. You could still get a chance to have that success if you're a bow hunter. Here in Arkansas, all the gun seasons are open. We got one more little uh, youth hunt left. Uh, so the woods are gonna calm down. A lot of the guys are done. Either they filled their tags or they've already given up. And what'll happen is, is these deer will start, start calming back down. And once they start calming back down, you'll get more daytime activity. Not always the case. Some years they just they just don't move good, but uh, for the most part, a lot of times they will bachelor back up and start coming to your food source. And this one's doing really well. Um, this is about an acre here. This we planted rye, wheat, and I actually planted a little bit of oats in here and a little bit of peas. And of course the peas are pretty much all gone. Uh, so what we've primarily got in here now is winter wheat. Uh, the oats are gone at this point. And guys, what you got to look for, hunt them just like you would in the regular season. Late season, the late season cold fronts can be awesome this time of year. So watch the weather and see when those cold fronts are coming. Matter of fact, we got one coming in the next couple days. Um, I've had some evening activity on this plot in the last two days. So, uh, they kind of shift like they do in October. They're going to shift back to a, f a feeding mode and no better time to get after them in a late season. So one thing I like doing this time of year is actually moving my cameras to my food sources. So all year long, I've been either on a scrape tree or a corridor or something like that. Well, I like to move to my big food plots. I've got a couple food plots on my property and a couple on other properties that, you know, will equate to deer activity. And that's where I move my cameras to. Uh, in Arkansas, this time of year, there's no baiting. Uh, baiting went out January 1st. So you're left with just green food sources. And that's what the plan is. So I've got my camera set up. Uh, this is the reveal. This is a pretty good rig uh, and it's affordable. Uh, it's a cell camera, obviously, and it will send me pictures when that activity picks up. So guys, don't give up hope. Uh, there's still a chance to get a buck if you hadn't had that chance yet. Um, hunt those food sources in the evenings, wait for those cold fronts, and don't overpressure them. Stay out until the ingredients are right. Get out there and have success. Hey, as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching. And as always, God bless.